Today I'm going to try to make angel food cake using some uh, egg whites that we freeze dried about three and a half years ago. We freeze dried the egg whites separate from the egg yolks because we wanted to try custard with the egg yolks and angel food cake with the egg whites. To make sure that they're well powdered, I'm going to put them through the sifter into the water and then I can make sure that everything's powdered very finely. Oh, and before this was dried, this was 333 grams. And afterwards it was 39 grams. So I put about uh, 294 grams of water in here. And so I'm going to just test that out and see what happens. Well, little powdery bits are going through real well. And it's still going through. Oh, I'm going to start mixing that a little bit. Oh, I figure it's probably going to take a few minutes to rehydrate. I'm trying to get it all through the sifter. But this way, make sure that it's broken up very well. Everything's very super fine. Okay, all made it through just fine. I have no idea if it's going to work, but I've given it about five minutes to rehydrate. I'm going to put it in the mixer and try making this thing. So along with the egg whites, I have three ounces of cake flour, ten and a half ounces of sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and we'll be adding vanilla and lemon juice. But first we'll get this mixing. So the cream of tartar and salt are going to go in with the eggs in the mixer and half of this sugar is going in there right now. I'm going to just roughly about half of it into the flour. Okay, I've got about half of it into the flour and that will get mixed in together. Okay, that will be ready. The fact that there's a little bit of frothy bubble stuff already is promising for it working. Sprinkling the salt, sprinkling the cream of tartar. So the color is definitely different after freeze drying, but they're acting like egg whites. They're getting frothy already. Wow. Okay, so it says I'm supposed to do that for about a minute. Oh, yeah, this is great. Do a quick check. And I think the sugar should have been in already. Let's see how it's doing. Oh, it's doing pretty well. I think I'll just give it a few more seconds. I gradually add the three quarters cup of sugar over the next minute or so. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and one and a half teaspoon of lemon. That's enough so that mixes. And now we need to fold in the flour mixture. I'm going to add the flour and sugar mixture. I'm going to sift it in there. It says about three tablespoons at a time and then fold it in. It's been a long time since I've made an angel food cake. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this at a time into there and then sift it over the top. And then fold that in. And do another one, just kind of covering the top with it. And then fold it in, being as gentle as possible, going all the way to the bottom, lift it up, 
And again. Well, angel food cake is what we had in mind when we kept the egg whites separate all those years ago. So this will be very interesting to see how that works out. Of course, if it fails, how much of it's because I haven't done angel food cake in so many years that I am not good at making angel food cake. And how much of it's because of the egg whites. The egg whites reacted properly. So I think the egg whites work. I think they'll be fine. So I think that's mixed enough. I don't want to overdo it. I think I'm in danger of overdoing it. So I better stop. Now, those are going to go into mini loaf pans. So I have six of them ready. I've put parchment in the bottom. So I'll be able to get them out easier. But I didn't put any on the sides and they're not greased because uh, it needs to be able to climb up the sides. And I don't even know if six is enough. I know you only fill it about halfway full on with angel food cake. Maybe a big spoon to get them in there. Okay, so I got a big spoon, so I'm gonna try to kind of dollop them in there. It's just light fluffy stuff. So I'm going to start with 30 minutes. They're getting taller and fluffier. What? You should push them back down. Cake-like. Oh, that's only eight minutes. I don't know what happened to them, but they collapsed like a pancake. They were doing so well. Well, we'll see what happened. The angel food cake kind of fell. They were doing so well at uh, the 10 minute mark and then when it's time to cake them out yeah, they collapsed like crazy uh, I don't know if it's because of the convection oven I wouldn't think so but I've never cooked them in a convection oven before but they were doing so well I mean you can see they'd climbed all the way up so we tasted one tested one all gone but you know so it tasted good but, yeah, so it's like a, a heavy angel food cake, but they taste real good. So, oh well, I'll take that. I'll try again and see what happens. So here's the bottom line. I haven't made angel food cake in many, many years. And I looked up, why did it rise just fine and then collapse like crazy? Uh, you bakers out there probably were watching me mix it and going, stop, you're over mixing it like crazy. Well, who knew? <laughs> I just thought it was going to do wonderful because of that. But as you can see from the earlier picture, it did a great rise in the oven before it collapsed like a pancake. Um, it's still very good. It, it's great flavor. You know, I mean, it's just like a dense cake is all. When I demo something, I should have done something that I know how to cook. Something that I'd cooked in the last 20 or 30 years. I thought this would be so easy. I remembered it as being so easy when I was a kid. It just got the density of a fairly hefty cake. Almost pound cake. But it's really good.